Welcome to Digital Electronics Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakya, is going to explain you full adder circuit using half adder. Right. And full adder and half adder that I have already explained you in my previous two videos. Right. So you can go through it. So here quickly I will give you little brief about it. So see if you have a half adder. So in half adder we are doing 2 bit addition. Right. So if we have 2 bits A and B then here 2 outputs will be there. One is sum and second is carry let us say C0. And in case of full adder circuit, in case of full adder circuit, we are doing 3 bit addition. So here we will be having 3 inputs A, B and C and here our output will be sum and carry C0. And if you see half adder outputs sum, so that is XORing of inputs. Right. So here for half adder, let us say it is SH. So SH that is A X or B. And if you say this is carry C O H, then this carry for half adder C O H that is A dot B. Right. So that is what we have derived. Now I'll explain you full adder circuit, which is three bit addition. So if you say this is as F full adder output, then that is A X or B X or C. This is what I have already explained. Right. And if you see full adder carry. So let us say C O F. So that is A B plus B C plus C A. So this is what we have seen. Now in this video, I'll be making this full adder circuit by using half adder circuit. Now let us consider half adder circuit over here. So first I'm saying like see we have three inputs A, B and one input C that I'm taking it over here. Right. Now this A and B let us give this to one half adder circuit. So as if you give this to one half adder circuit, here we'll be having output. Let us say this is half adder one. So here our output will be half adder sum one and our output will be C H one means carry of half adder one, right? And if you see these outputs, then let me write it over here. This will be XORing of A and B that is sum and carry that is A dot B. So C H1 that is A dot B. And C A X or B means A B bar plus A bar B. See this is what sum which is XORing of A and B right regarding this half adder. Now here if you take second half adder over here right let us take second half adder. So second half adder that I am considering over here and if I give one input as this sum right and if I give second input as this C over here. then we will be having sum which is SH2 over here and we will be having carry that is CH2 over here. Right. Now in this if you see the resultant then that resultant of SH2 means sum of half adder 2. So SH2 that is XORing of SH1 with C and XORing of SH1 that is with C where X where SH1 that is A X or B. So if you place this A X or B X or C 
So this SH2 that we can say it is full adder sum, right? You can see it is full adder sum. But here we have CH2. Now what is CH2 over here? So let us see what is CH2. So CH2 that is ending of two inputs. So that will be SH1 dot C where we know what is SH1? SH1 is AB bar plus A bar B. So AB bar plus A bar B dot C. Right. And if you simplify this, then this will be a b bar c plus a bar b c so this is what our output c h 2 now here if you observe c h 1 and c h 2 and if you do oring operation of both of this carry then we can simplify that to full adder carry right so we can simplify that to full adder carry, right? So here, all we are doing is we will be doing oring operation of CH2 and CH1. So as if we do oring of CH2 and CH1, then let us say this is CO, right? then this CO will be CH2 plus CH1 CH1 is A dot B and CH2 is A B bar C plus A bar B C now we need to simplify this and to simplify this I will take K map so here let us simplify this by having K map CO and over here we have AB and over here we have C. So AB is having four combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 and C is having 0 and 1. Now see AB that I need to place. So this is what AB, so this is 1 and this is 1 for AB. Now if you place AB bar C, so AB bar C, so see this is 0, 0 means it is A bar B bar. This is 0, 1 means it is A bar B. This is 1, 0 means it is AB bar. Now A bar, A, B bar C, so AB bar and C is 1 for this. So this is what A B bar C, right? So see this is A B and this is A B bar C and A bar B C. So see this is A bar B and C is one over here. So this is A bar B C. Now we will simplify this. So we can make a grouping of this two so if you make grouping of this two then this will be now you see c is common so c is one and in a b you can see b is common so this is b if you take grouping of this two so in this grouping you can see this is a b that is one one so this second group that is a b and this one one that forms third group so that is having C1 and A is 1. So that is third group that is A, C. So we can say simplified version of this as per this K map that is A dot B plus B A dot B dot C plus A dot C. And you can see this is what? carry of full adder AB plus BC plus CA. So to make full adder by having half adder, all we need to do is you can use two half adder. With first half adder, we give two inputs and with second half adder, 
output of sum and second c that we need to give and both of this half adders carry that we need to or to have resultant carry of full adder. So that is how we can form full adder by using half adder. I hope that you have understood this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give your valuable suggestions. The reason is your suggestions are highly required to optimize this channel and based on your suggestions only I am making videos. So please give it over here so that other students even can get benefited based on your suggestions. So thank you so much for watching this video.